back out of the clinic here with another installment for our patients. Uh, welcome to you if you're not a patient uh, also. So this one is for a patient of mine who has lower scapular stability issues, getting a lot of upper trap issues and lower neck. Um, four simple exercises and I would give any patient that has shoulder or neck issues related to this problem. Exercise number one is bend and pull apart at 45 degrees elevation. We have a bend here, medium uh, resistance and uh, up 45 degrees elevation. We're gonna pull the bend apart, keeping our elbow straight. Should feel a burn in our shoulder blade region, close to the spine, after a few repetitions of this. If you're pulling this band apart and you're hitting down here, you're wrong. If you're hitting up here, you're wrong. You should be hitting 45 degree angle, following the line of the muscles that we're trying to hit. Exercise number two is at shoulder height, and we're elevating straight in front, and we're gonna pull the band apart and hit our chest, okay? 15 repetitions of this one as well. Third exercise here is elbows bent, hands tucked in by our side, arms facing forward, and we're gonna do external rotation. We're gonna do three sets of 15 of this one as well. Okay, trying to keep our shoulders down the back, pull the bands apart, just outside the line of our body. The last exercise, over here, we're gonna attach a band to our door. We're gonna do straight arm pull downs like so. Palm facing down and back. We're gonna pull just past the body. Shoulders should stay down and back, not tilting forward like that and not raising up. Palm down, should glide straight past our butt and finish there. Okay. Again, completing three sets of 15 or so. This should give you a uh, stability you need in your lower scapular stabilizers. If you've got any uh, specific problems, obviously get assessed by a practitioner. But these general uh, exercises should help most people with neck and shoulder issues to get some uh, lower scap stability. Enjoy.